This, in fact, gives us a nice neat definition for a radian. Uh, underneath your final, you might need to put this on the next page, right? One radian is... So here's our definition, okay? It's a bit of a weird definition to start with, which is why I didn't start with it. I wanted to give you this geometric sense, but this worded definition is really important. One radian is the size of the angle that forms an arc. You can see all of these curved parts here, apart from this one, which is the entire circumference. You'd call this an arc, semicircle. You'd call this an arc, a quarter of a circle, and you'd call this an arc, which is one unit long. One radian is the size of the angle that forms an arc, and this is the really nice part of it, that forms an arc equal to the radius of the circle. That's what a radian is. A radian is however far you need to turn so that the arc you make is the same. It matches the radius of the circle that you're in. What's really nice about this is we didn't have to actually do unit circles to demonstrate this. We could have picked circles of any size, which is why in fact you did draw circles of any size. If you take, if you like measured across what your radius is, right, and then you measured around that arc, those two distances should match. That's what makes a radian a radian. So if you had a circle twice the size, um, a circle with a radius of two, then how big would that arc be if you had a radian there? Two. It'd be two. It'd be exactly the same. It'd be double because I had a, a circle that's double the size. Okay. Now, this is the big idea. Um, we're introducing this new way of measuring angles. Number one, so hopefully self-evidently, so that we can work with circles a little more easily. Every other time you've had to work with circles, you had to do some conversion. It always involved pi. Okay? But now we're trying to take that out of the equation by using a different unit. Okay? For now, we want to be able to translate from one into the other, which is why I asked you to write this. If you haven't written it already, I suggest you write this particular line down and then put a nice big box around it, okay? Because what it allows you to do is it's sort of like, I don't know, if, is anyone, um, does anyone heard of the Rosetta Stone? Do you, did you yes. learn about that? The Rosetta Stone was, uh, someone's gonna help me out here. There was like Egyptian hieroglyphics, I think there was Phoenician, and a third one I can't remember? Um, some other ancient language, and the whole idea was, wow, we couldn't read these three languages, but now we've got the same thing written in all three, and now we can convert between them. It was like a, uh, a really keystone moment, pardon the pun, um, for, thank you, um, for being able to work between these languages. This piece here is kind of like the Rosetta Stone of radians, right? If you remember that 100 de uh, 180 degrees is pi radians, you can convert back and forth. For example, if this is what one radian is, how would I work out the size of, say, three radians? Three radians. What I would do is I'd say, okay, if that's one radian, I just multiply that by three, and that'll give me the number of degrees. Three multiplied by 180 on pi, that'll be the number of degrees. Can you just punch that into your calculator for me? Three, and then multiply it by 180 on pi. What should you get? Three radians. 170, 171. Now think about that for a second. Think about the diagrams you already have on your page. Does that intuitively make sense? Three radians is just a little bit less than pi radians. You see that? So like, yeah. To find a radian, whatever the number of radians times 180 over pi. Bingo. So if I said instead of three radians, I wanted eight, eight radians, I'd say, well, eight times 180 on pi. Okay. Um, if I wanted to go in the other direction, which is actually going to be a bit more common for us right now, because we're good at degrees, right? If I said to you, we've done some nice convenient angles, 360, 180, 90, what's another common angle that you deal with all the time in degrees? A common angle you see? 45, 45 sure. Uh, this will do. 45 degrees. If I wanted to turn this into radians, right, what I would say is take that 45, and instead of multiplying by 180 on pi, because that takes you from radians to degrees, I want to go in the reverse direction. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, pi on 180 instead of 180 on pi. Now, you could pump, pump that into your calculator, okay? But the problem is, your calculator is going to take pi, it's going to turn it into decimals, right? You don't need to. Have a look, have a look. 
45, 180. Can we like simplify this? Can we write an equivalent fraction that's nicer and neater? How many 45s can you fit into 180? You'd be four of them, right? So if I go cancel, cancel, I get pi on four radians, which should make sense because it's half of this. Do you see that? Give me another angle, another common angle that you get. 30. Uh, 30? 30? I could say 30, and I'm going to multiply by pi on 180. That'll convert me into, I should have said radians, over here. So I could write pi on 180 radians, but you can probably see that's easy to cancel, right? You'll get pi on... Six, very good. Just as familiar as 30 degrees is, you're going to start saying, oh, pi on six, I can recognize that. That's 30 degrees. Um, if I said to you, I think I heard another, like 270, was it? 270 degrees? If, if you have a look at what you've got here, do we need to do the calculation? These nice neat numbers, we should be able to work it out. 270 is not half. It's like, it's three quarters the way around, right? That would give me 270. Think about it. Three quarters the way around. We know that this is pi. We know that this is pi on 2. So if that's 270 degrees, how many radians do you get if you add these two together? Pi and pi on 2. You'd get 1 and a half lots of pi, or more commonly we would say it is 3 pi on 2, right? So this is how you're going to convert from radians to degrees. This is how you're going to convert from degrees to radians. 